Welcome back armchair outdoor enthusiasts. Let's do a quick review and comparison video between the Western Mountaineering Apache Microfiber and the RAB Neutrino Endurance 600. Both sleeping bags are rated to 15 degrees Fahrenheit and both sleeping bags come from very reputable manufacturers. But as usual, there can be only one. Which one do I like most? Find out at the end of this video. Laid out side by side, you can see that both sleeping bags are basically the same shape and size, although the Western Mountaineering does have a bit more of a generous cut. The Rab sleeping bag has a 3 quarter inch zipper with a very pretty blue and red color scheme. Although I shined a light through the fabric to ensure that the side baffle was in fact mesh, I wasn't able to shift the down from the bottom of the sleeping bag to the top. The Western Mountaineering sleeping bag has a zipper that is a little bit longer than 3 quarters. It also has a very nice black and red color scheme, and I found that black fabric tends to dry a bit faster than lighter colors. As for the use, the Western Mountaineering continuous baffle system allows me to effortlessly shift down from the bottom of the sleeping bag to the top. The Pertex fabric that Rab uses is pretty robust, but it doesn't breathe as well, so it took a little bit longer to get in the stuff sack. Western Mountaineering's microfiber doesn't feel as burly, but it sure was a breeze compressing it into the stuff sack. As I tossed them on the scale, it became undeniably clear that the Western Mountaineering was a much lighter bag, and by half a pound in fact. I tested these sleeping bags side by side in two different situations. The first where the temperature was around freezing, and the second where there was heavy condensation dripping off of the tent walls and saturating the foot boxes of both sleeping bags. Both sleeping bags were perfectly fine at 30 degrees. I didn't have to have any extra clothes other than my underwear, and I didn't have to have either bag fully zipped up. As for the fabric, that's actually a different story. I thought that Rab's Pertex would outperform Western Mountaineering's microfiber. I was really surprised to find that the microfiber actually absorbed less moisture than the Pertex, and it dried out faster as well. As we close out this video with some final thoughts, I want you to know that either bag is going to suit you incredibly well. Both come from great manufacturers with wonderful warranties, and really the only deciding factor becomes price and availability, unless it's weight. Then the Western Mountaineering has the Rab beat by a half a pound. The Rab sleeping bag comes with a really nice stuff sack that has two different components. Your standard cinch stuff sack with a collar that can be rolled up and snapped so that it is a bit more waterproof. Whereas Western Mountaineering has provided you with a standard sill nylon stuff sack and your standard drawstring closure. Both sleeping bags aren't very big, but the Western Mountaineering does take up less space than the Rab. All right, it's the moment you've been waiting for. But before I tell you which one I'm gonna keep and which one I'm gonna sell, let's get controversial and talk about treated versus untreated down. I've used both in the real world, and please understand, I'm no scientist, this is only anecdotal evidence, but for me, I don't see a stark performance difference between regular down and treated down. I'm sure you can see where my preference is leaning. In a 3 plus season bag, I'm going to go with the Western Mountaineering Apache Microfiber. However, please understand I have no issues with Rab sleeping bags. In fact, I have their Expedition 1000 all set to go with me to Aconcagua and Anali. Before I sign off, check out these sweet hats that I got in. You can pick up yours at www.armchairoutdoors.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching my review. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any other questions, you can get in touch with me through my website. As usual, get out there, enjoy the outdoors, and happy trails! It has two different components, a standard cinch type stuff sack. Whoops! <laughs>